Shall we stand to our feet? in heaven thank you we bow before you Lord we thank you for you gave yourself on the cross to defeat the enemy once and for all you put an end to accusations handwritings evidence ideas, thoughts wicked things that were against us by your body. That was the price you paid. The Lamb of God. You were scrutinized in the temple by the Pharisees and by wicked men who did not know you. And you survived it all. And you died in our place. Thank you. As we lift up your body let everyone here experience a resounding victory over Satan, over his cohorts, and over every agent of Satan who is used against us. In the name of Jesus, let there be healing for everyone who is a part of this service worldwide. Every coronavirus victim. We pray for recovery in Jesus name. The smell of death we reject and refuse. We ask for total recovery, restoration and healing in Jesus name. We receive healing for our bodies, our hearts, our minds, our kidneys, our lungs, our livers, stomach and intestines our blood vessels, our blood, our blood cells, white blood cells, red blood cells, our eyes, our nose, our mouth, our tongues, everything in us, Lord, our immune system, we ask for total healing. And as we lift up this bread, we look to you as our Savior and our healer. Jesus Christ, the Savior and the healer of the world. The body of Jesus Christ. The body of Jesus. Now, the blood. How many have made mistakes already since last year? Lift up the blood. Father, we declare this is now the blood of Jesus. Through the power of forgiveness, everyone under the sound of my voice 
is appearing at next year's Good Friday service. Alive and healthy and healed and forgiven. Whatever will prevent you from appearing at Good Friday next year, I reject it and I curse it in Jesus' name. Now recover from your sins. Recover from your mistakes. Recover from your grievous past. And every error you have ever made that has linked you to the dark kingdom, the kingdom of darkness, the kingdom of Satan. Be released from the kingdom of the devil. And I transfer you now to the kingdom of his dear son, Jesus Christ. Be forgiven in your home. Be forgiven in your church. Be forgiven in your personal life. Be forgiven for your mistakes. The mistakes of your hands. Lift up your hands. May your hands be washed by the blood. Open your mouth. May your tongue be washed by the blood from all the things you have said you shouldn't have said. Your feet. Stamp your feet. May your feet be washed for every place you went you shouldn't have gone. In Jesus' name. Put your hand on your heart. May your heart be cleansed from the depth of wickedness that is in you. By the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood that takes away the sins of the world. May you be forgiven. May you be washed. May you be cleansed by the blood of the Lamb. The blood of Jesus Christ. Now lift your hands. Whatever agenda Satan has to kill you within one year from now, I unravel that agenda in Jesus' name. You are appearing at Good Friday 2022 with ease, with ease and with grace with ease and with grace whatever is a plan long term plan of the enemy to destroy you to destroy you in the name of Jesus I cancel and unravel that plan in Jesus name you are now free from your mistakes you are now free from sin you are now free from Satan. Every pressuring enemy that is pressurizing you goes back today in Jesus' name. Shout the loudest amen. Shout the loudest amen. Every enemy that is pressing, 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 pressing is thrown back tonight in the name of Jesus. Let me hear your loudest amen. Every persistent enemy, every persistent enemy that has followed you up to the Red Sea, in the name of Jesus, I say, go back, go back, go back in Jesus' name. Shout amen. I cannot hear your loudest amen. Lift your hand like this. Say, I receive deliverance. I receive deliverance from my enemies, from the works of the devil. In the name of Jesus, shout your loudest amen. Put your hands on your eyes. Receive revelation. Receive light. May you be filled with light this year. May you be filled with light and revelation this year. Whatever you have been blind to, God is opening it to you now. In Jesus' name, receive light. Receive revelation. Receive good sight. In the name of Jesus, lift your hand and say, I receive it. I receive light. I receive illumination. I receive healing. Put your hand on your heart. Say, I receive healing. 
I can't hear you. I receive healing. I can't hear you. I receive healing. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing. Whatever prevented you from traveling abroad is cut off. I see a string. Something I, I see it is linking you somewhere. You can't go free. I cut those strings right now in the name of Jesus and set you free. Lift your hand and say, I'm free now. I'm free now. In the name of Jesus. Christ has set you free. And you are free indeed. Put your hand on your head. You shall be the head and not the tail. Every curse that is making you last, making you low, making you go down, demoting you, is lifted off you now. Because of the blood. The enemy that implements the curse is rebuking your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free from the curse in the name of Jesus. You are free by the blood of the Lamb that sets you free. And right now, everyone whose foot is in a clay that you cannot come out of in the mighty name of Jesus. I see your feet are being washed. They are being washed of the clay. Whatever has made you to be stuck in one place, you are free today in the name of Jesus. Lift your hand and shout a big amen. Shout your loudest amen. Shout your loudest amen. Say, I am no longer stuck. I am set free by the blood of the Lamb in the name of Jesus. And right now, every sin that you thought could never be, never be, never be forgiven and never be forgotten. How many have committed a sin? You realize that it cannot be forgiven and it cannot be forgotten. Hey, lift your hand and receive a deliverance. May the sin which seems it can never be forgiven and it can never be forgotten, may that sin be wiped, wiped away, washed away. May your sin be forgiven and your sins be forgotten in the name of Jesus. Every form of guilt and inferiority complex, I rebuke that complex from off your life. You are set free by the blood of the Lamb. The power of God is working in your life. God is lifting you up. You are arriving at Good Friday next year in a brand new car. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your life is going 10 steps higher in this year. By Good Friday next year, you are 10 steps higher than you are today. In the name of Jesus. Now lift your hands. This hand lifting now is called in the spirit hallelujah. May you be saying hallelujah the whole of this year till next year. May you be praising God for the whole of this year till next year. May you be shouting hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You'll be hearing congratulations. But when the people say congratulations, you lift the two hands and say, Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You'll be saying hallelujah all the way. And next year, Good Friday, you'll be appearing with smiles and hallelujah written all over your face saying that God has been good to me. Give Jesus the loudest shout of hallelujah. Now listen, I'm going to do something that you've not, is going to surprise you. Do you know the word, you see, those who say thank, thank you, are those who have the grace of God. 
You know, Derek Prince, he was giving advice to some pastors. And he said, at this time he was very old. When, when he's speaking, his voice is, is, has changed. He was getting near to his end of his life. And he gave about five points. Five points to pastors. And he said that they are personal things. So you don't have to follow it. But this is what he has seen. He said that, uh, he gave different points. But one of the points, he said, be thankful. Yeah, he said, be thankful. And he said that when people are thankful, you know, the Bible says, be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourself in Psalms, hymn, singing with grace. And he said, he said something, he said that the word grace, you see, grace. He said, you find grace with thankful people. Listen, he said, you find grace with, give me power, give me power. He said, you find grace with thankful people. He said, the word thank you, the word thank you in Latin is the word gratia. Gracias. It's the same word, grace. Gracias. Grasa. Gracia. Gratia. Grace. Charis. Charis. All the languages that come from Latin. The word grace is the word thank you. He said that you find grace with thankful people. And that's why the word grace and thank you are almost the same word. In Latin, gratia, gracias, grasa, gracias, grace, caris. Caris is grace. It's all the same word, grace. Grace. Gracias, grace. Thank you, grace. He said, be thankful. And that you find grace with thankful people. How many want to find grace with you throughout 2021 to 2022? Grace will follow you. Be thankful and be grateful. Be thankful at home. Be thankful in church. Be thankful for what God has done. Be thankful in everything. Be thankful to your neighbor. Be thankful to your wife. Be thankful to your husband. Be thankful to God. And you'll see the word thank you. Gracias is the word grace. As you are thankful, there's more grace for you and on your life. May this grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and his power rest upon you and go with you, appearing with you in 2022 at Good Friday, full of grace and glory, the glory of God. Give the Lord a mighty shout. I feel the power of God.